After this video, you will exactly know on how to make this awesome looking glitch effect that you've been seeing all over social media for your own edits. Which will not only make you look like a pro After Effects editor, but also gain you a lot of views and followers. As always, the results will be shown at the end of this video, so make sure to stick around. And let's stop yapping and start with the first step. As you can see, in my case, I want to put the glitch on top of these two clips changing from Son Goku. So I just quickly prepared two clips. And now in order to use our glitch effect as the transition, we're going to have to add a new adjustment layer. So head to the top, go to Layer, select New, and select select adjustment layer. As you can see, you have a whole new layer now. And now obviously we only want our glitch to be happening during the transition. So we're going to adjust the size of the adjustment layer a bit. So go approximately 10 to 15 frames before your clip changes and cut the adjustment layer right here by pressing Ctrl, Shift and D at the same time. Now you can delete this extra layer and now we're going to do the same thing the other way around. Meaning we're now going to go 10 to 15 frames ahead from where our clip changes and cut the layer right there again. So just click on the layer and press Ctrl, Shift and D again. Also delete this part and as you can see, you now have a dedicated adjustment layer to the fraction where you want your glitch to be on. And now what we're going to use this adjustment layer for is the most essential part of this glitch effect. Because by using an adjustment layer, we can add an effect to multiple clips at once, which will just make the process a whole lot easier, as it will affect both of our clips at the same time. And now next, obviously, we're going to add the effect that's going to be responsible for our glitch. In this case, we want to use the Glitchify effect. So just go to your effects and presets panel and search for Glitchify. Once you found that, just go ahead and drag it onto the newly created adjustment layer. And as you can see, it now opens up in the effects controls panel. And if you don't find this effect within your After Effects, don't worry, that's totally normal. It's probably due to you not having the right plugin installed. And if you want to know where to get the plugins and how to download them, make sure to check out the link in the description and join my Discord server. We're a huge community on there, and you can get a lot of resources on there, such as plugins, scene packs, presets, whatever you need. So make sure to check it out now and don't miss out on the opportunity. Okay, so once you've done all that and now take a look at your edit, you're gonna notice that the glitch is way too intense. As you can see, this does not look good. But don't worry, that's where we're gonna change the settings. So pay attention now. Now the way we're now going to change the intensity of this animation is by adding keyframes. And we want to add the first keyframe at the very beginning of our adjustment layer, so just go there. Now you can zoom in a bit just so you can see it a bit more clear. And the value that we now want to change is the Glitchify amount. And in order to now set a keyframe, just go ahead and click this little stopwatch next to the effect name. And we're going to start by putting the value from 50 down to 0. Now when you click on the layer and press D on your keyboard, you should see that you can now see this keyframe on your layer. And now what this keyframe is, it's basically just a marker for After Effects, which tells the program in which place and time you want the value of your effect to be changed. And we're going to keep it at 0 for the beginning, go ahead 10 frames, and now set the value from 0 up to 50. Which now just means that 10 frames after your glitch started, the amount will be at 50. Now we're going to go ahead another 5 frames, and set the value from 50 down to 5. Go ahead another 2 frames, and put the value back up to 15. And now last but not least, because obviously we want our glitch to end again, we're going to go to the end of our adjustment layer and put this value down to 0. Once you've done all this, the keyframe should look something like this, but we're not quite done yet. Because leaving the keyframes like this will just make the animation linear. But because we want to spice it up a bit, we're going to change the graphs between the keyframes now. But in order to do that, we're going to have to easy ease the keyframes, which I will show you how to do right now. So to easy ease the keyframes, just go ahead and select all of them, right click onto the keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. Alternatively, you can just press F9 on your keyboard. And now when you go to this little window, which is the graph at a turn, click it once, you can see that there's a lot of graphs. And now by adjusting these graphs, we can change the speed in which our animation is playing. Just a little side note, if your graph looks something like this, just right click onto it and select edit speed graph instead of value graph. Then it should be looking like this. And now to adjust the graph, just click onto it. You're going to see these little yellow handles. And now we're going to start by dragging this value a bit up. So it looks like this approximately. And then we're going to drag this handle a bit to the left and leave the top one how it is. Now go to the next graph. Also, let's drag this a bit up. And now extend this handle on the left a bit to the right. And the handle on the right, we're also going to drag a bit towards the right. For this next one, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And we're just going to drag the handles a bit more to the edges. Just like this. Make sure that it looks nice and equal. And now this last one, we're just going to leave how it is. And next, to bring a bit more juice into it, we're going to add a cool glitch sound effect. Trust me, this might not seem very important, but it's going to add a lot of detail to your editing. If you already have an audio file that you want to use for the glitch SFX, just go ahead and now drag it onto your timeline. As you can see, mine is a bit longer than the glitch. And now to perfectly adjust it to our glitch, just click onto the layer and press L twice on your keyboard. This should just bring up the waveform and you can now see where the audio starts. So now I'm just going to go ahead and drag the sound till it matches with my glitch, which will be approximately here. If you want, you can cut off this access part by just pressing Ctrl, Shift, and D, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. And if you don't have a sound effect to use and you wanna use the one that I use as well, again, the MP3 file will be free to download on my Discord server. As I already mentioned, it's really worth it. So if you wanna use this one, just click the Discord link in the description. And now when you play your clip, you should already see that the glitch looks a lot better.
but we're not quite done yet because the most important step is going to be adding a good color correction because as you can see adding a good color correction can increase the quality of your edits immensely so it's an absolute necessity for every new editor to get a good color correction so that you can finally get out of your flop error and start seeing your follower count go up and if you now wonder where you can get such a color correction don't worry just check out the first link in the description down below because i'm still currently running a huge sale on my shop you can get all my presets for up to 70 percent cheaper so it's a one-time opportunity make sure to not miss out on it and once all these steps are done make sure to take a final look at your edit in my opinion this turned out great last thing to do is to render it so watch this video if you're interested in how to do that as always i really appreciate your time thank you so much for watching have an amazing day assalamu alaikum and see you next time